All right, welcome boxing fans. Welcome to JP Boxing. I've got a fight preview and prediction for you today. Just before we get started, apologise if my voice sounds a bit rough or a bit hoarse here. I actually got punched in the throat in sparring just before this. But on top of that, I'm not going to strain my voice too much because this prediction video is going to be very, very short. Because let's be honest, why the fuck is this fight happening? The fight I'm talking about is Naoa Anue versus TJ Doheny for the undisputed super, weight bantam, super bantamweight championship of the world, sorry. And it feels, I feel bad saying that about an Anue fight, like why is this fight happening? And it's not that I don't want to see him in action, it's just that man, you could have come up with about 25, 30 opponents that are better, that are better than TJ Doheny to make it a better, more interesting, exciting fight for us fans to watch. I really have no idea why this fight is happening, man. Anue back fighting in Japan, back showing why he's one of, if not the best fighter in the world, Pav of Pan. But we're going to learn nothing new here and it's not going to add any excitement to his resume or hype or anything like that. And it's not that TJ Dehenny is a terrible fighter. It's just he's 37 years old. He's past it. Even a prime TJ Dehenny wouldn't really belong in the ring with Anue, if I'm honest. But 37 years old, Four losses now, looking past it in his last few fights. Still, the only thing you might say where he stands a little chance is he's got some power. But is it, is it, is it any more power than what Lewis Neri, an elite fighter, who Anoue just absolutely obliterated, has? No. Is he going to be able to land his power? No. He's too old. He's too slow. He's washed up. And as I said, even in his prime, he wouldn't stand a chance against Anoue. I'm not going to give you any more stats or anything like that. Man, I will be very surprised if this fight goes past the second or third round. My prediction for this is a new eight in round one. See this picture here that someone's done as their thumbnail for the highlights that they've made for this. I don't know why you need highlights for this, man. It's pretty obvious who's going to win any, but maybe some people don't know who TJ Dehenny is. I wouldn't blame you for that if you're outside of Britain. He has actually been fighting in Japan more recently and fought in America sometimes, though. So he's he's known on the boxing circuit, but I can understand if you're a casual and you don't watch boxing all the time and you don't know who this guy is. But yeah, see what's happening here, this left hook. Expect that to happen in the first round. A new A landing over that southpaw right hand of Dehenny. Dehenny getting flattened out. He's got heart. He's a warrior. He'll get back up. He's a fighting man from Ireland. They all are. But he'll get dropped again, probably with the first shot, if not very, very quickly. And this time, he won't get back up. So yeah, my prediction is a new eight in round one. People might think I'm a bit bad for shitting on this fight. Real ones will agree with me, though. We can give a new eight one pass. Like, it's hard, though, man, because a pass would be someone who's, like, fringe world level still. Do Doheny was world champion back in 2018, 2019. He hasn't been world level for, like, the last five years. This guy was losing an eight-rounder to Iron at Baluta, who just lost to Dennis McCann at British level. And that was like four years ago now. So even then, he's passed it. His other losses to Michael Conlon. Not terrible, that one. Sam Goodman, who's only 13-0. and 0. I don't even, I'd never even heard of him before checking Dehenny's record. Daniel Roman, years and years ago now. That was at world level. But yeah, he's done nothing recently to deserve this fight. We're allowing Nui one pass because he's been battering the likes of Denair, Luis Neri, as I said, uh, Marlon Tapales, who's a good fighter, Stephen Fulton. You're allowed this one pass to Nui, but don't become like Canelo now and think just because you're that cash cow in Japan, you can start fighting whoever you want and fans are going to keep tuning in because they will. The loyal fans for you, but then you will put off the rest of the boxing world. But I don't think it would be a new age doing this fight. I think it's more probably his promoters just saying, let's have a keep busy. But why wasn't it Akhmedaliev, who despite losing is still one of the best and would be a good test? Why is it John Riel Casemiro? Why I don't just go up in weight again and forget about super bantamweight if you think the only level of opponent there now that want to fight you is this? So yeah, nothing else to say about this fight, man. Please let me know. If you're picking Dehenny to win, because it would be one of the biggest upsets of all time. So if you want to be the guy that predicts that, drop the comment, uh, drop that in the comment section now, and people will bow down to you forever afterwards for your boxing predictions. But I truly don't believe that anyone thinks Dehenny's going to win this fight. I don't think anyone thinks he gets past the sixth round. My prediction: a new A round one finish done. Easy one this one. Bet all your money on it. You won't lose. 
a new A without that inside six. If it goes past six, it's a poor performance from him. Over to you guys, as I said, if you're picking De Henny, please let me know. If not, what round will a new A finish it in? And after this, hopefully it's back to the top tier elite level fights for a new A because he's still one of the baddest men on the planet, of course.